any kind of infection inside the gut, you know, and so that's one of the yeah. ones that tends to be around. One of the things too, because there's like um, barriers to the gut, and if you've had long-term infections, like you know, kind of even sometimes whenever we we've, we've looked at the GI map at the beginning, maybe yeah. we kept some sort of candida, but the more and more we actually treat a person, that candida can look like it has gone up. I think part of that's because you're breaking up biofilms, you're starting to actually get things to move inside the gut. Now, can, candida presents itself a little bit better, or more more available to see. Um, but 100. percent Anytime that I see candida, though, I tend to assume that they're going to have some other overgrowth inside of their gut. It's beyond just candida. Um, I always tell people the gut is a wet, uh, a wet, dark, um, a wet and dark place. And anything that's wet and dark and warm, uh, like go out to uh, Florida and you pull up a board that's laying on the the grass, you're going to not just see one kind of parasite. You're not going to see a couple of worms. You're not going to just see one thing. You're going to see multiple different life forms that are actually starting to permeate inside of the gut or inside of that, that area. Um, 